I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes I just wanna close my eyes and do these videos with my eyes closed because it's just that easy. For real, it is. I'm not gonna even lie, for real. I'm not even lying. And no, this is not Kool-Aid. This is Sorrel. Homemade Sorrel, that is. But yeah, man, you know, um, this shit is easy. Make it more complicated for me, please. When it comes to, you know, hip hop, you know, let me do some research, some intensive research. Please don't let me just come up with this shit within five minutes. No lie. I don't think y'all give me the credit. Like I come up with this shit in five minutes and then I, I give you a 30 minute video. That's crazy to me. That's how my mind works though. So let's kick it. You know, you got several different people that, you know, have these videos out where, you know, they're saying that the mayor of New York wants to put it in or, you know, um, destroy or whatever, the, whatever the hell, you know, drill music. They, you know, he wants to stop it. Black mayor. And I'm sitting here saying to myself, which a lot of these YouTubers haven't brung up and I'm trying to figure out why they do this all the time to hip hop. They do it all the time. When, when I was growing up in the 90s, guess who was doing it? Calvin D. Butts and C. Dolores Tucker. They went as far as to have one of those um, steamrollers. Crush uh, Dr. Dre CD, um, Snoop Doggy Dog CD. And at that point in time, they were talking about ending, putting the end to gangster rap. Even the vice president of the United States had mentioned Tupac and how he was responsible for um, two police officers getting killed because the, the person that killed those police officers or whatever was listening to Tupac when he did it or prior to him doing it. This is nothing new. They get black puppets to disrespect their own. This mayor has no interest and helping zero interest in helping out black kids for real that's my word if that's the case he would march his dumb ass up the capitol records rca and the likes sony and tell white business executives to stop producing stop getting behind the projects of these drill rappers Stop funding it. Stop putting the music. Stop payola. Stop paying DJs to play this drill music. Get the fuck out of here, man. That dump, that fucking black mayor ain't got shit on his mind except for being either reelected or becoming the second black president of the United States. Get the fuck out of here. I can see that shit clear as day. Period. They always bring these fucking puppets around. That always want to act like they trying to help the community. They ain't helping shit. History repeats its, mother, its fucking self. That plain and simple. White people ain't going to put an end to this shit. Because white people are making money off of black murders. Straight up. Whether it's on wax. Or whether it's through white media. Straight up. Do you know how many people. This is my word. I. If you never looked at it like that, seriously, look at it like this. Do you know how many people tuned in to see George Floyd die on just about every news channel? Do you know how many views that bought in? Do you know how much revenue the news channels made overall? White media made off of that shit? Y'all not hearing me though. Cause y'all just think I'm a dirty ass nigga with funky ass dreads. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Highly intelligent. And I peep gang. I know it when I see it. 
That's the reason why I'm an asset to the black community. Unlike those real old heads. Because really, an old head is defined as this. A motherfucker that has grown in age and throughout his years never learned anything from it. So therefore, he's good for nothing. Can't teach the youth anything. I'm not that. I'm a dude that has grown in age and has learned and remembered how it was when we were young. And now I can tell you the same game. Y'all want me to be real? The same game white people are running on us in the past is the same right white, excuse me, the same game white people are running on you all in the present. Straight up. Because at the end of the day, white people don't give a fuck about black people. Let me tell you something. If white people really gave a fuck, there would be no violence in our communities. Straight up. I don't care what you say about all of this property tax and all what I'm about to say. Because that's what y'all bring up. Oh, the property tax is this and that and so forth. And then our community and we make it go da 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 this and so forth. Yeah, yeah, kiss my ass. At the end of the day, the reason why I know white people. And that's a broad term. You know, tight. You know, tight or whatever. A broad statement. At the end of the day, white people. Go into our neighborhoods. Bulldoze the projects down, gentrify the area, and what was once an area that you were scared to live in, they made it safe. So if white people wanted to put an end to violence in the black community, they could. All they would have to do is just bull down the projects and move the people back into the same area that they bulldozed down and they gentrified and make it affordable for them to live. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. And they know that good and goddamn well that what they've done was not a genius plan. It was demonic. Let's take what little that they have left. A culture that they created. Out of what we took from their community. You know, y'all, they took away the, 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 the programs, you know, band and music programs and, and the schools. They took away trade, you know. You you could go you you could go to high school. They took away trades such as uh plumbing, carpentry, an electrician. You can literally learn how to be an electrician, plumber. And a fucking carpenter Back in the days in high school They took all of that out Auto mechanic They took all of that shit out of the public school system Specifically in the black neighborhoods Black kids Young black kids didn't have shit to do Make the long story short After the gangs and the violence And the this and the that Hip hop was the solution to us All of this, these problems that was going on it was our voice to America to let America know this is what's going on in our community and we can't take it and we won't tolerate it. And it used to be a voice for the voiceless. Now that same culture that we that once was positive has been taken from us and used against us as a weapon. And now you're going to turn around and say, we're going to stop drill music. Now, we ain't going to get to the problem. We ain't going to tell everybody how the guns got into the community for these kids to go around shooting and killing each other. We're not going to say that. We're not going to talk about food deserts, how these kids are running around 
in the middle of the night trying to sell, you know, whatever, trying to make money, rob, steal, kill or whatever in order to make money to eat. We ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about how fucking disgraceful the public school system is. Will you have a 12th grader reading um, in a fifth grade, a fifth grade education? He has a fifth grade education reading like a fifth grader. We ain't going to talk about that. We ain't going to talk about the, the numerous of fathers that you've locked up. Where these kids don't have a father figure at home. We ain't going to talk about that. We just going to end, uh, try to put it in. We ain't going to even try to put it in. All of this is propaganda. All of this is all politics. We just going to talk about it. We ain't going to really put it into it. Because guess what? When you stop drill music, you stopping the white man from making money. And you know the white man ain't going to have that motherfucker. That's a reality. So all this shit is a game. All of it's a game. Drill music has made millions of dollars. So therefore... White business execs, execs, racist motherfuckers, that, that is, they ain't gonna stop that. They ain't gonna stop putting out that drill music. That shit make money. For real. Y'all don't even know that every time a black man dies, a white man profits off of it. Especially if that person is, is, is a, 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 a um, public figure, such as a rapper, or overall entertainer. You know how much money they're making off of Tupac? You know, Tupac is making more money than most of you rappers that are alive. Just imagine that. One dead rapper is making more money. Let me take it back. That's generating more money for the white man than 15 you all of you all rappers put together that are alive right now. That's real. If you never heard this slogan, then hear it. Because you're better off, to them, dead than alive. They can make more money. They can profit off of you more. You being dead than alive. Period. And most of these record labels, they have insurance policies on you motherfuckers. So they, you ain't nothing but a fucking tax write-off and shit. To be real with you, they are pocketing money off of our black kids and this fucking black mayor has the nerve to say that we gonna put it in the drill music so you just gonna stop with little money that these niggas are making now they gonna really go out and start, start killing and shooting each other how about go to the core of the problem motherfucker and you know that you know what the core of the problem is that shit is crazy to me And y'all ain't peeping that shit I could do this shit with my eyes closed That's my word I'm just trying to understand the, Your mayor your, that, that black mayor in New York That nigga ain't nothing but motherfucking C. Dolores Tucker and Calvin D. Butts Putting together Period That's your version of, 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 of Calvin D. Butts and C. Dolores Tucker For real and taking heed, this ain't the first fucking black mayor y'all had. You know, what is it, uh, David Dinkins, Mayor Dinkins? That was the first uh, black uh, 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 mayor of New York. And when he was the mayor of New York, please, New Yorkers, correct me if I'm wrong. New York was at his worst. I mean, it was at his best, meaning that you could get to do whatever the fuck you want to do. I remember... I remember when D Mayor Dinkins was fucking the, the mayor. Niggas doing every the f whatever the fuck they wanted to do in fucking, you know what I'm saying, the inner cities. And then what happened? You know, after that, you know, later on down the line, Giuliani came and he cleaned up New York. He's the one that turned New York into fucking Disneyland. And now... 
I say stupid shit like this as well as a lot of other New Yorkers, man, shit. I want to take it back to old New York when I used to, you know, go around drinking 40 ounces and smoking blunts all day, every day. Not giving a fuck about the, the neighbors and the kids I was around. <sighs> Yo, man, we, we, we are doomed. We're doomed. I was talking to this motherfucking, this dude, this black man in the sauna the other day, man. And he was telling me some shit like the problem that black people have is they don't vote. And they don't, uh, what's the other one he said? He said, we don't vote. And then we don't, um, we don't, we don't, um, practice home ownership. And I'm like, you ever heard of redlining, nigga? Do you understand? Like, you know, there are certain areas that where the banks won't even give us loans to buy, purchase the houses that are worth something. Do you understand that we're still fighting for the same rights that Dr. Martin Luther King was, was fighting? Voter, voting rights, that is. That they have districts and, and they cut off this and cut off that and this and that. Come on, man, get the fuck out of here. See, the problem is with you old heads, I ain't one. It's you old ass head motherfuckers. You coon motherfuckers. The problem is with y'all motherfuckers is that y'all truly believe. Y'all know what the white man has done to us in the past and the present. But you truly believe that at the end of the day, man, give him a chance. He gonna get it right one day. No, fuck that. Yo. Overall, the white man don't give a fuck about us, and I, I just I don't I don't get it. I really don't. And stop including your friend. Well, my friend is white, and he I don't care about him. I'm talking about the collective. I'm talking about millions. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna be real with you, and then I'm gonna end it. If I was white, I wouldn't give a fuck about blacks. Why the fuck should I do anything about do anything for for blacks for? If I was white, I would be on some shit like fuck reparations. We ain't giving them shit. He went through that. They went through that shit in the past. I would have that mentality. I would have that same selfish mentality. You want to know why? Because everything is working for me. Why would I want to ruin it? I got white privilege. I got white power. There's white supremacy going on. Everything is in my favor. Why am I going to give up that? Why am I going to make everything equal? Why? Why is it that I am going to give him the equal opportunity to finish the race? Because now the one that's winning in the white in, in the in, in the race of life are whites. Why would I give the black man an equal opportunity? Because he just may beat me. Why would I give the black man the equal or woman the equal opportunity? And he beats me. The black man beats me. The black woman beats me. And now all my insecurities are out there in the open. That at the end of the day, it wasn't because that black people are stupid. It wasn't because of black people that were violence and this and that and so forth. Black people are monkeys. No, we're scared to give black people the equal opportunity because they just may bust our asses in everything whether it's intelligence whether it's in athleticism whether it's just an overall life and I can't have that I got to keep my white supremacy because that's the only thing that I'm holding on to that's the only thing that I got In order to maintain it, I will lie, cheat, and steal, and kill around America, around the fucking world. Because ultimately, I'm just a small little man, a small little woman that knows that I have not benefited. Excuse me, that knows that I've benefited. Or for the black man that knows 
that in reality, can't nobody benefit off of me because I ain't got shit to offer. All I've done throughout the time I've opened my eyes was still kill and destroy.